guys, what's going on? It's Ben again, and today is a different type of video. I'm going to be trying out Windows 2000. It's an older operating system, and I mean, I kind of want to turn this into a little bit of a series, so you guys maybe suggest me some operating systems. I'll try them out here on the channel. And it's a different thing that I usually do, because I usually do tech reviews and tech nonsense, tech rants, stuff like that. But I just wanted to switch it off for a little bit. I mean, I want to get this video out ASAP, so... Yeah, I don't want to stall anymore, I don't want to talk anymore, let's just get into the video. So, yeah, it was built on NT technology, and it was a move away from the DOS systems of previous years, like in 95, 98, and me. So, we are now starting up. Okay, so now we're in a little helping window. Go away. So let's take a look at the start menu. Look at that. That is years of work. This is a 16 year old system and it still has things like the start menu. That, that's, that's pretty amazing. Just wanted to quickly show you guys. I'm in Windows 10 right now. This is what the start menu looks like. Okay? Okay. Now we're back in Windows 2000 and look how much it's changed. Just compare that for a little bit. You guys at home, just compare it, or wherever you are, I don't know. But let's just take a look at some of the... Oh, Internet Explorer. Back when Internet Explorer was like 95% market share of browsers. Oh my gosh, there was a huge Oprah, and it, it was so funny, but... was this? I don't know, sign up to a new internet account? No. Transfer region? No. Okay, so this left you with three options to connect to the internet. You could choose to sign up for a new internet account, your, which you would connect your telephone line to a modem, which would be a dial-up connection technically. You could set up your internet connection manually, or you, you could connect through a LAN connection, or basically Ethernet, or you could transfer your existing internet account with a dial-up connection. I don't want to do any of this, but... No, uh-uh, I, 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 I don't want that. No, go, go away. No, I, I don't want a phone number. Go away. Ugh. Okay, so I have the short to compact this so I could get this full screen, 1080p for y'all. Uh, but let's explore some programs, shall we? Let's see accessories. Aha! Now we, we're gonna have some fun. First of all, let's open up paint. Let's draw something. Oh my goodness. Windows 2000, guys. Look at this software. Let's just draw this guy. Look at him. All happy. I'm the best drawer in the world. I don't know. I, I, I don't know anymore. Just what I drew in my head. My true fans will know that video. Uh, Alright, there we go. And now he has a laptop. Oh, and you can add text to it and stuff. Uh, <laughs> wow, it has almost all the features of Adobe Photoshop. I don't know, I, I recently got Photoshop. Stay changed from title? No. Let's go back to programs. Games? Ooh, games. Let's play some solitaire. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. That, that's, that's cool. Let's, let me just, let me just get out of here. Oh, big thing. Recycle bin! I wonder what the, where the system files are. Maybe I can get a program. Windows will open. Maybe I'll do that later. Windows update. There are no updates! There are no more updates! It's updates the most recent service pack, which is service pack 4. So... Calculator. Let's see. Oh, that's an old calculator. Let's calculate 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. Okay, let's just... I'm just trying to go through all these uh, little things at the moment. CD player. Sound recorder, volume control, Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player! That's that's really cool. Go away. Uh, address book. Do I have any. Oh, it's Internet Connection Wizard. Accessibility Wizard! I should call this Wizard 101 Windows Edition. Narrator? Oh. Okay, I use other people's computers. Is that you, Microsoft? Narrator Sam? Name up. Foreground window. Wow. Help. Push button. Foreground win. Wow. On screen keyboard? What? An on screen keyboard. This what? Wow. Oh, that's the. Wow. Wow. 
Wow. That, that's... Wow. Alright, let's no, go... Okay. That, that's, that's pretty cool how they had that on Windows 2000. That, that's really cool. Um, let's go to accessories. I don't know, I've gone pretty much through all these programs, you know, all these old... My documents. Ooh, my pictures. Um, yeah, that's, that's that. Cool. It's my only sample picture guy about to do a sprinting run. Very interesting. Very interesting. Very cool. Run, help. I wonder what help is. Oh, it's just everything you could possibly wish to know about Windows 2000. Uh, is there any control panel? I want to mess with the settings. Here we go, settings. This should be fun. Oh my goodness. Administrative tools. Hmm. Just want to mess with this stuff. That'd be fun. Add remove hardware. I wonder if there's any Win32 stuff here. That would be interesting to find and mess with. Stop the computer from booting. That wouldn't be good though. What button configuration for left handed? Oh my god. Nope, it's still not. Working. It's because, like, the mice that came with computers would just work like that. Power options, keyboard, game controllers! But, yeah. Yeah. Network dial connections, user passwords. System! See, here we go. Microsoft Windows 2000, Service Pack 4. Um, there's the... Oh my god, it even lists my specs here! Core 2 Duo, 2.8 GHz, ATAT compatible, 409,000 kilobytes of RAM. Overkill? Um, let's just let's, uh, performance options. Oh, okay. I would love to take a return back to Windows 2000, but for now, I think it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, Windows 2000. I'm gonna do my 10 minute limit for my screen recorder anyway. Let's shut this boy, bad boy down. So that was pretty much the video. Got to explore Windows 2000. Very interesting, very fun to do. And let me know if you want to do anything, if you want me to do... If you want me to do anything like this in the future. Please let me know, as I would greatly appreciate it. And suggest any other operating systems that I should install on VirtualBox in the comments below. Maybe I'll even get my mom on it. Ever try out old operating systems. But that would be basically ripping off OS first time. But anyways guys, that's pretty much the video. If you liked it, please leave a like. Thanks for watching, and this is Ben Vasquez, signing out.